Hello crafters. This is Suzanne from A Creative Muse and I'm here with more of Spellbinders label motifs cards. Card share examples from that wonderful set that was designed by Becca Feakin for Spellbinders, her seasonal label motifs line. Love. I'm only missing like one. She has two winter ones. I have one of them that was sent to me to play with by Spellbinders, but I didn't get the other. I showed you in a video, a recent video. I'm going to put a link to the video right here. So you, and also at the end of the video, if you want to watch where I go into detail about these two cute cards. This one is the summer labels motif die set and this one is the winter label motifs die set so i showed you these two examples i just love the scenes and i love how you can use these labels beyond just having to do the scene too so it's like a three for one die set because it also gives you the florals too i've shown you in a recent haul that i did the fall label motifs and i still had to play with the spring label motifs well now you're going to see these two cards first let's start off with spring love <laughs> so look how different it is we got spring summer winter love 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 i was having a ball with this one now i'm going to leave the summer one beside it because i decided to mix here is the spring label motifs die set let me give you the measurement four by three on the largest part of the label. So the label comes in one, two, three cut edges. So you can choose to either use that drop-in for the design or not. Let me show you the example of how they did it here. You see in the example, they took the label and turned it vertical. I did horizontal. And she put a, you know, like a bow, a beautiful bow. I can't tie a bow like that. I wish I could. But wow, look at that bow, right? So you could play with this label any way you want. You could stack two and do a whole thing, slimline, whatever. Okay, so here it has a bunny. Love this floral. That's here. Easiest thing to put together. It looks like, oh, we got a layer. It's two. Just cut one, then put this in the middle. That's it. But look how pretty it is. I love it. I love it. I did it in pink. I did it in yellow. Took out a little bit of ink and did a light little touch here. This is um, Distress Oxide I used. Then it also has this floral, which is here. And it has a center for that floral. And then the leaves, that's them there. And these leaves, which are here. Here's a stem all over the place. You could either go like this with a little bud. There are the buds. Oh, such spring goodness. And let's not forget little bunny. <laughs> there's the bunny so I have my bunny hopping into the scene that happy anniversary is from the sentiments for everyday glimmer hot foil set which has a lot of the sentiments do have a coordinating die I love this one because it's all things you know friendship birthday congrats um, great job you did it so there's all different kinds of things so let me bring it up real close so you can get to see all the springy goodness in the background that one is the knock on wood 3d embossing folder love with the 3d embossing folders from spellbinders it is recommended to use the spellbinders universal plate system and the universal plate system works on a lot of die cutting machines like the big shot vagabond uh, Spellbinders, Platinum 6, etc. Okay? Machines with a wide opening. So this is the 3D embossing folder. Now I'm using the back of the 3D embossing folder. So let me show you what I mean. This is that knock on wood. I'm here using 110 pound cardstock. So this is when you run it and this is the top. Because this has so much going on and this already has enough going on, I wanted to quiet the background. So when I had put the label here, it was too busy. I flipped it over where it's more quiet. You see it? So when you're playing with these embossing folders, especially the 3D, if this becomes too much on your project, flip it over and then look at it again like, wait a second. Like I was going between, actually, when I had put the florals with this, it just wasn't going. It looked better and more like nature and spring with this. So, you know, you play. This is a 2D embossing folder from their um, embossing folder club. And I'll put a link for it then, seeing that I'm talking about it. This is that botanical sketched floral. 
Love this. This was sold out. It came back in stock. I got mine. So I when I had put this, though, on there, for some reason, this version worked. This looked too much with the florals. Play. I used from the summer die set. My favorite thing in there is these darn tulips that I had shown you in the last video I had curled with my finger. Here I put some of them. But this time I did it like how I showed you here. Instead of popping it up, I just put a dab of glue at the bottom and leave this tarp part floating. You see it? So you can still mail this relatively. If you don't pop this up as much as I did, where this is popped up, this is popped up. If you leave it a little bit lower, you can mail this flat and this will still work. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I love the interaction between the summer label and the spring because the add-ons in here are really good. I could have used a butterfly over here and all of these florals in this too. So these two work well together. And I could have also brought the Bebo Blooms. That's back in stock a lot of places now, thank goodness. So I could have added that in here if I wanted to with that label. And Bebo Blooms, you guys, have, if you're new to my channel, is this die set. The gift that keeps on giving in terms of floral dyes. She has been a hard sellout. So, oh, speaking of hard sellout, there is a sale going on now at Spellbinder. It's called the Back to School Sale. She's on sale in there. And she's coming in at like 40 to 50% off. Uh-huh. So you could actually get two for the price of one. Mm, close to the price of one. Like you're paying like $3 over for a second set. I have two sets of the, well... Yeah, three sets of it, actually, because I like to run a bunch at one time and I run it. Just I love the Beepo blooms and the holiday blooms. <laughs> Those are my favorites. I could have used it here, too. And then I left this as a five by seven, both of them, to give room for you to see the beauty of the embossing folder and then to add blooms. Oh, I love this. And I put it on a light pink, 110 pound background. Next, let me pull out now. Fall label motifs. Now, I purchased this myself. I believe I got it from scrapbook.com. Love. Let's talk about that triple layer dome frame. Four and a half inch tall by two and a half inch wide. The pumpkin got me, the little piece of wheat, the acorn, and everything else. But these three is what made me say, I got to get this fall motif. And I love that cover picture. Yeah. So here is my example. Love, love. You can tell I'm getting ready for fall. I was so feeling this card. <laughs> we were just having a ball together. So let's talk about that embossing folder in the back. This is another one of the Spellbinders Kit Club embossing folders. Botanical Diamond, June 22. So this one should be available still. She is a goodie. Why I like her too. I thought I was going to also come back into the wood. Or the floral it just when i i have like i'll run a bunch of these and have them ready to go it just wasn't looking right there was something about the dome and then this that i think went well with the leaves you know i put it on here and it just mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. of course in the same light color but the folder just wasn't working with that layout i think it works well with the florals here and then the geometric shapes in it what do you guys think i just loving then cut the pumpkins and then i also as you can see i got the detail on them i was thinking of pulling out my white gel pen to do highlights but then something said to me leave it alone i was gonna do like little highlights but then i didn't want it to look like when i do critter cards cute critters and i start putting highlights i like how this one looks elegant at the same time you know it's fall it's bursting with the fall harvest but it's an adult card. <laughs> These stories go on in my head, I swear, when I'm making cards. You know, I can go all the way super fun and crazy, and then I can go into, like, this, where I just, like, oh, I was just loving this one. I did do the embossing to get that detail. Here, did some ink blending, too. So it's orange cardstock, and then do some blending. And the reason why it's muted is because I did use Distress Oxide, which gives a more chalk finish to the inking. I also did the wheat, and then I did a little splatter. I'm not sure if I love the splatter on the acorn. And the berries. Let me tell you. I told you I love the pumpkin and the acorn and that wheat, but these little berries, 
Oh, ho, ho. when I was playing with it, I said, oh, I love the berries too. So let's talk about those cute little berries. What makes these Spellbinders dies like sidebar? If you've been watching a lot of my Spellbinders videos lately and you guys are like, wow, Suzanne's cards are looking like, hey, I'm looking at my own cards going, did I really make this card? It's like, uh, what should I call it? A creative partnership. This is even before Spellbinders contacted me. I realized, and it started off, be bold blooms. There is something about their florals. And when they put those sprigs in the floral, that's the magic. Most die sets would give you all of this, missing out this. This is what adds more life and more character. And the more sprigs you keep putting into stuff, just like, oh, tuck, tuck, tuck. And then all of a sudden it's like, So I'm gonna call it a creative partnership, which inspires me to just like play. And I'm playing and talking. These little berries are just fabulous. That little simple die set right there. So you cut the base and I had cut it out of brown cardstock, like a dark brown. Then I took some, what is this? Like a purpley, it's more like a burgundy cardstock and put the berries on. And then I had to pull out the glossy accents. That's what I think finishes this card. Just takes it one bump up. Then I popped in this. I was going more for that colorway with the blues in it, but then I ended up doing more of this browns with that. And then I put the brown here, and then I put the white. And then this is um, gold gem mix from Spellbinders. This, I believe, just adds that last touch to bring the card together. I did not put the sentiment and I purposely did not put a sentiment. It didn't need it. Put the sentiment on the inside. And then I use 110 pound craft cardstock for this five by seven beauty, which you get to enjoy. The five by seven with the motifs I think work well because if I scaled it down, it seems tight. Here it has room to breathe and you get to enjoy that embossing folder. If it was just plain cardstock, then I would have probably scaled it down. If you're gonna keep that back plain, then I would go A2. You're gonna add an embossing folder, let the embossing folder have as much play time as this fall motif. I knew I wanted that fall motif and then I played with it and I'm like, yeah, 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 love, love. So if you're feeling it like I'm feeling it, it's an add to card winner. There are some little bits that I did tuck in here, just right there. Took me forever to find, here it is, mini fall blooms. This was from last year. Cute little set. I believe it's in that um, Spellbinders back to school sale too. How long does that sale last? I have no idea. I didn't even know the sale was there. It's just, I got an email and I was like, oh. And it's a regular Spellbinders email. If you subscribe to Spellbinders website, start creating a little wish list and then they'll send you stuff to say when there's a really good sale. They had that BOGO sale, buy one, die, get one free. Now they have the back to school. Oh, there's a lot of good stuff in there. If you like the pie set, that's in there back on sale. Fluted Classic Slimline, on sale, the whole set. Um, I believe this is on sale. They have some embossing folders on sale too, 2D embossing folders. The 3D, those are brand new, so that's not gonna be in there, but they have some really nice embossing folders too. Geo screen loops. So instead of it being $8, they're not like five. Yeah. <laughs> so this one, that's what I took those little bitty ones in there because I have both sets, so why not play? I like these two together. Yep, alrighty crafters, so I just wanted to show you that I have now finished my motifs, the, the year. <laughs> we got spring, summer, fall, winter. Look at that. Oh yes, 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 and you can turn it. I could have done both of these. Happy birthday. I do have a friend who her birthday is August 31st. I'm thinking of giving her this card because her favorite colors are actually fall colors. And then I could put the happy birthday on the inside. I think she would get a kick out of this card. Even though it's fall and I don't have to be happy Thanksgiving or thank you, I could do it as a birthday card because her birthday is towards the end of the year. Mm -hmm. Same thing with this Christmas one too. You could do happy birthday to somebody's birthday is during the holidays. Alrighty crafters, until the next video. Stay crafty. Check out that um, back to school sale at Spellbinders. I will put a link below and also their clearance too. I'll put a link for that too. Alrighty crafters, until the next video. Stay crafty. Bye.